Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello everyone, welcome to second PUC statistics online classes. Okay, in this section, we are going to discuss about problems based on normal distribution. Let us see the first problem that is right, the first one that is right probability density function of normal distribution with mean is equal to 10 and standard deviation is equal to 3. So, here first we need to write given observations. So, here given observations are mean and standard deviation. We know that mean is denoted by mu. So, mu is equal to 10 and standard deviation in terms sigma. So, sigma is equal to 3. Okay, now next we need to write probability density function of normal distribution. Okay, probability density function is denoted by f of x. So, this is equal to the so probability density function of normal distribution is f of x is equal to 1 by sigma into root of 2 pi into e to the power minus 1 by 2 into x minus mu divided by sigma whole square. So, here x takes the value minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay, now, here we know the value of mu and sigma. Okay, now, I will substitute mu and sigma in the formula that is f of x is equal to 1 by sigma that is 3. 3 into square root of 2 pi into e to the power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu that is 10 divided by sigma that is 3 whole square. Okay, this is probability density function of normal distribution. Okay, next let us see the second question that is if standard deviation of normal distribution is 50, find quartal deviation at mean deviation okay now standard deviation that is in terms of sigma so here given observation sigma is equal to 15 okay now if we know the sigma we then we can easily calculate quartal deviation and mean deviation we know the formula of quartal deviation that is 2 by 3 sigma and mean deviation is 4 by 5 sigma if we know the value of sigma that is 15, I will substitute the value of 15 that 2 by 3 into 15. So, the value is that is 2 by 3 into 15 that is 10. So, here quartal deviation of normal distribution is 10. Next, in mean deviation that is formula 4 by 5 into sigma I will substitute the value of sigma that is 4 by 5 into 15. So, that is 4 by 5 into 15 is 12. Okay, this is mean deviation of normal distribution. Okay, next let us see the third problem that is in a in a normal distribution q1 is equal to 40 and q3 is equal to 60. Find mean quartal deviation and standard deviation. Okay, now here given observations are q1 and q3 that is q1 is 40 and q3 is 60. For example, if observe for example here 2, 5 observe the observations are given like 2 and 5. Okay, now here we how to calculate mean we know that mean is nothing but average. How to calculate average of this? That is total number of observation divided by number of observation. That is 2 plus 5 divided by here number of observation is 2. So, divided by 2. Okay, next if it is 3 observation, how to calculate mean? That is number total number of observation that is 2 plus 5 plus 3. Here number of observations are 3. So, divided by 3. Okay, like that here given q1 and q3 okay if it is q1 and q3 how to calculate mean okay we know the formula of mean that is mean is equal to total number of observation divided by number of observation here total number of observations are q1 plus q3 
divided by number of observation there are two number of observations are there so divided by 2 that is here q1 is 40 plus 60 divided by 2 that is 40 plus 60 100 100 divided by 2 is 50 okay this is mean of normal distribution here okay next we need to calculate quartile deviation that is QD. QD is equal to C. Here Q1 and Q3s are given in the question. So, how to calculate quartal deviation that we discussed in the first year. That is quartal deviation is equal to Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. You see here Q3 is 60 minus 40 divided by 2. So, 60 minus 40 that is 20. 20 divided by 2 that is 10. Okay, next, next we need to calculate standard deviation. Okay, now how to calculate standard deviation in this situation? Okay, using quartal deviation, we can calculate standard deviation. Okay, so we know the formula of quartal deviation of normal distribution that is QD is equal to 2 by 3 into sigma. Okay, now we know the value of quartal deviation that is. 10. So, here I substitute 10 is equal to 2 by 3 into sigma. Okay, now I will do the cross multiply that is 10 into 3 is equal to 2 sigma. So, sigma is equal to 10 into 3 that is 30 divided by 2. So, 30 yeah no yes 10 in, yeah 10 into 3 that is 30 30 divided by 2 is 15. So, here standard deviation is 15. Okay. Next, let us see the fourth question that is mean and variance are 12 and 4. Find lower and upper quartiles also find points of inflation. Okay. Now, here given observations are mean and variance. So, we know that mu, mean is denoted by mu that is 12 and variance, variance is denoted by sigma square. So, that is 4. Okay, next we need to calculate here, we need to find lower quartile and upper quartile. Okay, lower quartile formula that is Q1 is equal to mu minus 0 0.6745 into sigma. Okay, see here sigma square is there, but here we need sigma. Okay, sigma square is variance, sigma is standard deviation. How to calculate standard deviation? That is square root of answer. So, here sigma is 2. Yes. So, now I will substitute here we got mu and sigma values. Now, I will substitute mu and sigma values in the formula. That is q1 is equal to mu is 12 minus 0 0.6745 into 2. Okay. This is equal to 12 minus 6 that is 0 0.6745 into 2 is 1.349 okay this is equal to 12 minus 1.349 is 10.651 okay now next we need to calculate upper quartile okay here we got the value of lower quartile next we calculate upper quartile that is q3 is equal to mu plus 0 0.6745 into sigma okay this is equal to what is mu mu is 12 12 plus 0 0.6745 into sigma that is sigma is 2 okay this is equal to 12 plus 0 0.6745 into 2 is 1.349 Okay, this is equal to 12 plus 1.349 is 13.349. So, this is upper quartile and lower quartile. Okay, next also we need to calculate points of inflation. Okay, there are two points of inflation are there that is Inflations are 
mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma okay here mu is 12 minus sigma is 2 and mu is 12 plus sigma is 2 so points of inflations are so 12 minus 2 is 10 and 12 plus 2 is 14 so points of inflations are 10 plus 14 okay next question is the fifth one that is the distribution of a variable x is f of x is equal to 1 by 3 into square root of 2 pi into e to the power minus 1 by 2 into x minus mu divided by sigma whole square find mean and standard deviation okay now uh, we know the probability density function of normal distribution that is yes f of x is equal to 1 by sigma into square root of 2 pi into e to the power minus 1 by 2 into x minus mu divided by sigma whole square here x takes the value minus infinity to plus infinity okay. and here given observation that is f of x is equal to 1 by 3 square root of 2 pi into e to the power minus 1 by 2 into x minus mu divided by sigma yes here the given observation e to the power minus 1 by 2 x minus 6 divided by 3 okay divided by 3 whole square find mean and standard deviation okay here question is the distribution of a variable x is f of x is equal to 1 by 3 root of 3 into root of 2 pi into e to the power minus 1 by 2 into x minus 6 divided by 3 whole square. We need to calculate mean and standard deviation. Okay, We know the distribution of normal distribution, I mean probability density function of normal distribution that is f of x is equal to 1 by sigma square root of 2 pi into e to the power minus 1 by 2 into x minus mu divided by sigma whole square. Here x takes the value minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay, Here given observations are given observation is f of x is equal to 1 by 3 root of 2 pi into e to the power 1 by 2 here x minus 6 divided by 3 whole square okay this is given observation in the problem okay now see here in our probability density function uh, in the place m sigma here 3 is there in the place mu here 6 is there in the place sigma here 3 is there okay and we know that the mean and standard deviation in terms mean is in terms mu and standard deviation we can write sigma okay now see here in the place sigma here 3 is there see in the place sigma here 3 is there so what is standard deviation here a standard deviation is 3 and in the place mu see in the place mu here 6 is there in the place mu here 6 is there so what is mean of normal distribution here the mean of normal distribution is 6 so in this in this problem mean is 6 and variance is i mean standard deviation is 3 yes thank you for watching this video